what's up everybody this your monday guy coley Demi seven trans guys are back um thank you for coming back and watching our video excuse me camera a little janky um we really appreciate it i'm excited to be back sorry this video updated so late i'm working a nine to five at school you know what i'm saying so it's really hard i should have made it yesterday but i'll i'll do better next week you feel me so uh, this week's topic is just catching up about our transition um our progress our development within our transition you know so you know i'm gonna show some pictures i don't have any baby pictures because like i said i'm in a college life i don't think a lot of people bring their baby pictures to college because i sure in the hell didn't you feel me so i don't have any uh baby pictures but i'm gonna start from you know my first um my first youtube video for my personal channel and go up and you'll see the changes in my voice um in the facial hair and then i'll talk about uh the changes how i feel about them and you know this i'll, I'll talk about it more and elaborate a little bit but um yeah so this is the video first t-shot yeah i'm juiced i'm ready for changes first voice video i'm ready for changes can't wait to see what happens. Alright, what's up YouTube? This your boy Cully. Um I'm doing a T one month update. Tell you about the changes I've had. So so far I've had a little bit my of a YouTube surgery, my T, and then I got a question and answer. Question and answer at my first this boy Cully. Um I'm three months on testosterone today. Well, actually, yesterday I was three months on testosterone, so I'm three months and one day on testosterone. The reason I'm late for the video is just simply because I started college. Yeah. I was gonna say, yo, what's good? It's your Monday guy. But this ain't the seven trans guys channel. Um, what's up? It's your boy Coley. I'm four months on T today. Yo. Time goes by, man. What's fast. up, everybody? It's your boy Cully, and today I make five months on testosterone. <coughs> wow, I feel like I just made that uh, that four months video like yesterday. Like it just flies by, but um, I probably said that before. It's crazy how it's changed, and it's like now that it's changed, I have I can't even when I look tell, at these videos. Like, it's crazy to me like you know to me i don't really see the changes you know like you can see my facial hair right now and the video actually looks like it's connecting it's starting to connect here like literally my mustache and my uh little thing right here is starting to connect i don't really know how i feel about that like that wasn't the plan for my facial hair it was just to have this and this not to connect but you know i'm gonna try new things i just say i have sideburns now never had sideburns in my life and it's starting to grow I, i'm thinking that i'm gonna be growing a full thing so i'm gonna see how that goes you know i'm always open to trying new things so that's definitely something new um as far as hair growth like my my legs and stuff like I, i've never shaved my legs a day in my life i'm 19 years old now never shaved oh i'm 19 now my birthday was last tuesday happy birthday to me thank you um, anyways, yeah, I have never shaved my legs a day in my life, and they're just regular, like, I'm not a hairy person, my arms, I'm not a hairy person, you feel me, so, my armpits is like, whoosh, though, but they've been like that, like, I never shaved my armpits, when I was on a girls basketball team, all the girls used to be like, ugh, you nasty, I was like, no, I don't care, you know, but my chest isn't hairy, nothing, I'm not really a hairy guy, that's it, um, but, yeah, as far as my voice, it, it keeps dropping. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. Um, my Just the hair is going really slow, but I like the way my voice drops every month. You know, so I'm really liking that progress. I want to see if it's going to keep dropping or I want to see what the final destination is, you know. But um, today is the 7th. I started T on June 8, 2015. So tomorrow's March 8th. So I'm actually going to be doing another video for what is it? Uh, for my nine months on T tomorrow so two consecutive videos talking about two completely different things but so I came out you guys know my coming out story I came out to the counselor the counselor brought my mom in kind of told her she told my dad 
and they kind of adjusted well. I didn't start changing my pronouns, like, really with my family until, like, after top surgery. Uh, I wasn't comfortable with the pronouns. It took a long time to adjust, even though I felt like that's that was for me, like, that's, that's who I was. It took a long time to adjust because it was 18 years of my life I was she, you know, so it take a while to, to get used to that, even if it feels right, you know. Sometimes people be talking about me, and I'll be like, huh? Like, oh, oh shit, like, they talking about me now, like, it's real, you know. We're still adjusting. With my friends from high school, still adjusting to, um, they're still adjusting to pronouns, you know, because, you know, it's new to them, and, like, I didn't come out to my friends in high school. I didn't, I just came out on Instagram, and if you fucking follow me, or, you know, you saw the news story, or whatever, however you found out, then you found out, you know, so, a lot of my friends don't, may not understand, but they don't, you know, when I go back to the high school, they all, like, I get the love back in my hometown, you know, they might not understand, so, they might not know what pronouns to call, and so far, I've never corrected anybody, like, even when they say she in the whole conversation, I won't correct them, because it takes time. You know, it takes time to figure out, like, what's going on. You know, when I hit a year, I'll get more assertive with the pronouns and stuff. But as far as passing and stuff, you know, when I meet new people in my college, the pronouns aren't, they're regular. They're like, he, but I just, you know, I'm just me, you know. But, yeah. As far as my transition goes, it's made me evolve so much as a person. Like, I I can't describe. If you go through the transition, I know that us trans men have seen what I've seen from the communities I've been a part of. Have lots of insecurities, lots of fears, and they, they kind of let those fears control them, the way they live. They kind of let those fears take over like their manhood and and whatnot you know and if you live through your transition even though it's hard without letting those insecurities and fears rule the way you live your life you're gonna evolve so fast and so much like you're just gonna be this person that you never thought you could ever be that's really what i'm learning i'm learning to stay true to myself and to just be me no matter what you know and it's really hard like no, no lie. I might say it like, oh yeah, just be you, let go of your insecurities, bust through your fears. Nah, it's really hard. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. It's not worth sitting in a corner, being all, you know, being hesitant and being afraid all the time. <coughs> it, it just, just bust through it, you know. It's hard at first, but when you get through it, you're going to be proud of yourself. You might, you know, you might dwell on it. But that's that's really what I've been learning through my transition. It's just being myself and being proud of that, regardless of what anybody says, and you know, being more open, not letting those those fears or anything. I know a lot of trans men sometimes feel inadequate to to other biological men or whatever. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted right now. Look at this. Like I need this in my life. Oh yeah. All right, but um, yeah. Bust through those fears and work on yourself. You working on yourself, you know, to be the man that you are. You know, might get top surgery, might start taking tea, might get whatever surgery, whatever you do. You're working on yourself physically. But what matters is in here. That that's where the man is. This is where the man is. If you don't work on this or this, all those physical changes mean nothing. Like for real. If you really think about it, all those changes. You have all those changes and you still walk around like a scared dog with the tail between his legs. You know what I'm saying? So within my transition, that's really what I've learned. Like it's just made such a big impact on me. That's really what I could talk about the most right now. They're just like wow. My lips look white, but they not. I promise you they not. Anyways, yeah, so. Mm. See, this is a kid with, like, ADHD. I'm. Okay. Um, that's really 
what's been most prominent, like, bam, like, just be you. It's, it's just so, it's hard, I know. It's gonna make you wanna quit. You might think about offering yourself, you know what I'm saying? I know, I feel your pain, but, you know, you gotta get through it. And, you know, it's even worse when you don't have, like, a lot of support next to you, or you don't have that person when you go through it to be holding your hand, or you don't have that person after you just come out and you get rejected to go home and express yourself too. You know, I feel you. I got that too. That that's what I go through. You feel me? But it's just like you're gonna become such a strong man after that. And that's really what I've been learning. All my statuses on Instagram, you know, they're they're things um, that I definitely mean and I definitely live by standards that I set. But I might not have met those standards yet. You know what I mean? Like, this is my head. Okay, you know, you got to do this, this, and that. You got to do this and that. Trust me, I'm still working on living up to those. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it every day. So, that's really what this transition is about. For me, it's really not about... It puts you to the ultimate test with, with yourself. I really... Through the transition, I just de developed a, a great relationship with myself. And a, a good sense of self and self-love. And everything like that. That's really what this transition has given me. Something that I never really had a relationship with myself like this. So, so secure. Like, so real. Like, be your own best friend. Really talk to yourself. Teach yourself how to be a man. You might not have a, a male support system. You know what I'm saying? Teach yourself. Learn. You feel me? You, you got a lot of resources on the internet out there. You can hit me up. I'm definitely down to help anybody. That's, you know, a lot of guys that hit me up and they don't talk to me no more. They hit me up for like a couple of pieces of evidence and just leave or advice and just dip. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk to you for however long. I've been talking to this little girl. She's like 14 since like September last year. And we talk on and off like every day. Just just helping her out. You feel me? So I'm here to help anybody spread the love. You know, advice, anything that you need. I'll be like your big brother. Maybe a little brother, whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. If people have like information that you need, go seek it, you know? But, yeah, that's really what I've learned. Just develop a relationship with yourself. And it's not about the tea and the surgeries and nothing. It's about developing the gear and what's in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what this transition has taught me. It's so hard. It's so hard. The natural changes with the voice is easy. It's hard to develop yourself into a real man up here. That's the hard part. For real. But I'll probably talk about that more in some experiences tomorrow. I'll post another video on my personal. Thank you for watching. I'm happy to be back with y'all. This your Monday guy, Coley. Signing out. Hit me up. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me on kick. Uh, yeah, that's damn near it. Once again, thank you for watching and supporting the 7 Trans guys. We greatly appreciate y'all.